AutoCAD 2014 offers many enhancements to the command line to help you work more efficiently. For example, autocorrect functionality is now included. If you type something wrong, in this case, I'm just going to type, mistype um, the word table, easy mistake, T-A-B-E-L, when it really should be T-A-B-L-E. You can see that even though I've misspelled it, AutoCAD automatically finds the AutoCAD table command. And then, of course, from there, I can go ahead and launch it. We'll close that, though. Um, another example might be if you're typing really fast and you just accidentally hit the wrong keys or miss some keys. Let's say I want to type offset, but I type too fast, I miss a few of the characters. Still, AutoCAD finds, even though I typed O-F-E-S-T, AutoCAD finds the offset command. So great improvements um, for autocorrect here on the command line. Also, autocomplete functionality has been enhanced. Um, it now includes midstream search. So for example, if you don't necessarily know how a, a command or system variable starts, you don't know the exact command or system variable name, but you know some key part that's in the middle of it, um, you can start typing that. One of my favorite examples is settings. I know there are so many different settings in AutoCAD, but I can never remember if I want D settings or export settings or section plane settings. There are so many different settings, but I probably do know that I want settings, something to do with settings. So you can see here as I'm typing the word settings, AutoCAD is automatically finding anything that has settings within it. So any system variables, command lines that have settings. It makes it way easier for you to access what you need without having to memorize um, so many different variables and um, commands. So that is midstream search. Also, uh, notice as I was typing settings, you might have seen that as I'm typing settings, it's pulling up this option here at the very top that is settings. It says settings, but what it's actually going to do is launch the options command because we really don't have a settings command or variable in AutoCAD. Um, this is the um, synonym suggestion functionality that's being included in the command line functionality. So that if you've got certain commands or maybe tools that you're used to either in other applications or you've just forgotten what it is in AutoCAD, um, you can type something similar and there's a very good chance that AutoCAD will find what you were really wanting to locate. In this um, example where I type settings, Normally, I would have had to type options. I would know that what I need is options as opposed to settings. Another example might be, say you want to insert a symbol. You may be new to AutoCAD and not remember or realize that you need the insert command. So you just start typing symbol, and you can see there that AutoCAD and the synonym suggestions come up with the insert command. Now, this is all customizable. So if you go up here to the Manage ribbon tab, and then you'll see where you can edit um, command aliases, the PGP file. Uh, you now have the option to also edit it for um, autocorrect, so you can add your autocorrections there, or the synonym list. And by de default, there already are some typical synonyms, but you can add your own as well. Here's another example. Say you know that you want to zip up your drawings, but you don't know to use the eTransmit command. That's okay, you can just type zip at the command line and AutoCAD will find eTransmit for you. So very easy for you to customize, but as you can see here, there are many commands already included. That is um, synonym suggestion. There are also adaptive suggestions. When you first start using AutoCAD 2014 and you type a command, I'll just type, start typing AR for example, your list might look a little bit different than mine because how it starts is that AutoCAD will automatically use what's most common. If people tend to type AR and what they really want is the ARC command, then ARC will typically be at the top of the list. But as you start using AutoCAD 2014, maybe each time you type AR, you really want the area command. So that's what you end up selecting. Well, AutoCAD will adapt to your use so that uh, over time, as you begin using or as you continue using AR in this example and accessing the area command, you'll see that area will move um, towards the top of the list. So it will customize itself for your usage. So that's adaptive suggestions. Let's go ahead and take a look at 
some other tools that are built into the command line. Now, let me point out that sometimes I've been typing at the cursor using dynamic input. The tool right down here is turned on. And sometimes I've been typing at the command line. Either way, everything that I've shown you so far works fine either at the command line or when you're using dynamic input. There are a few additional enhancements, however, that you will have access to if you are using the command line itself. For example, let me go ahead and just start typing block. Let's say I want to find out more about block or use the block tool. Here you can see that it's got my list of suggestions. And as I pass the cursor over this list towards the right, there is a, an icon here that will let me search the AutoCAD help system for that particular term. And then there's another icon to the right of that that lets me search the internet for that term. So you're not limited just to the AutoCAD help system. Now you can actually go out to the internet, say you found Block or some other maybe obscure tool in AutoCAD. You can click on the internet search and it will launch your browser and it will search for that term, whatever it was you selected on, prepended with the word AutoCAD. So there you can access other videos and other content that is available on the internet. And this is just one of the many ways that you'll see in AutoCAD 2014 that AutoCAD is connecting you outside of your uh, local workstation. All right, let's look at some other content. We've kind of focused on commands and system variables at the command line, but there's other content that is available and that can be found when you're working in AutoCAD. I'll go ahead and open up another drawing here, just so I have something kind of to search for. And here I've got a construction drawing. I'll just open up one that I know has some blocks and layers in it. So here we've got um, a drawing. We'll go to model space. Now I know this has some layer, a layer that has the word door in it. I also know it's got several door blocks in it. Uh, so keep that in mind as we go down here to the command line and I'm just going to start typing. I'll just start typing DO. You can see that it's coming up with commands that start with DO or that have DO in them. But it's also coming up with more content, not just commands and system variables. I'll take it a little further and type door. And you can see here that it's, it's listing any blocks in my current drawing that have the word door in them, as well as any layers. I can actually go ahead and select the layer right here to make that layer current. And I'll type door again, and here I have my list of blocks. So I'll just go ahead and select one of these. And you can see that right there, right from the command line, I'm able to select and insert a block without even having to go to the insert command. And the other nice thing is I don't have to know what, what the name of that block is. I know I want a door. Type that in and it automatically finds everything, all the blocks that are relevant. Now this works for other types of content. We looked at layers and blocks. It also works for hatch patterns and gradients, as well as text styles, dimension styles, and visual styles. So again, very easy for you right at the command line to search for a dimension style, for example, and then set that current. That is content. And content is divided into categories. We'll go ahead and try typing DO again. You'll see that as I type DO, it comes up with a list of commands right here at the top. And then there are also some system variables and over here at the right side, there's a plus icon that you can select to expand that particular category. So here I can see the other um, system variables that start with DO. And then I've also got just AutoCAD kind of drawing content here. So the first one that's listed is that door block. But if I expand that, you'll see that I have access to several other types of content that happen to have DO in them. So I've got door blocks and layers with window here you can see it's got the DO and there's a hatch pattern also that has DO in it. So these expandable categories give you access to the content that matches your what you're typing there at the command line. And of course as you type more it will narrow down that content. All right so content categories all valuable improvements to the command line to help you work more efficiently. Now you can control these settings if you go to the customized tool here on the command line, you'll see that there that it's been enhanced to include some of these new controls. For example, autocorrect and search content, midstream search. These are all new additions to this menu. 
There's also a new input search options dialog box. If you select that, then you'll see that you have more control. For example, maybe you only want the command line to find certain types of content. So you can specify that here. And there's other controls for autocomplete, autocorrect, and then, for example, the delay, which we've had previously. But these are all pulled together in one location here for the input search options. So hopefully you find this really useful. I think it's something that's going to save you a lot of time when you're accessing command system variables and now content through the command line.